Welcome to Credit Chronicles, a digital series designed to help you build credit and good financial habits that will serve you for life. Whether you have credit issues, debt, or you just can't seem to save for your future, Credit Chronicles, along with our partner Self, can help. I'm Angela Yee. And I'm Stacy Tisdale. For eight weeks, we follow the lives of Tina and Marcus, a married millennial couple who, like so many of us, struggle with student loans, credit card debt, and trying to make their goals a reality. They had to be really honest with themselves about the financial and relationship dynamics that have been, quote, running the show so far. They have big dreams, but big challenges too. They have the support they need, support we all can have from the Self app, and a financial wellness coach from Operation Hope, a financial education and counseling nonprofit. Step one in this process, getting clear on financial goals and priorities. I sat down with Tina and Marcus to help them clarify their goals and priorities so they'd be prepared to meet their financial coach. So the idea of Credit Chronicles was to use your story to teach our audience how to get more comfortable with money. Because we know people have an easier time talking about things like sex than they actually do talking about money. You guys are a great example about how good people with good intentions who do all the right things can find themselves in financial trouble and about how self-worth has got nothing to do with net worth. And what Angela and I want to do with Credit Chronicles is to use your story to show how anybody everybody can do the right thing, they can have good intentions, but anybody can find themselves in financial challenges. And you guys are a millennial couple with a young child, you've done your best to you know, create financial security for him, but it's hard. And I wanted to know, what are your goals? I would like for us to know more about how to handle money, how to you know, save better, how to um, be more secure when it comes to our finance. And for me, I just want to be able to understand how to, you know, get out of debt and really stay out of debt, you know, or at least bad debt, because there's different debts. But um, I would want to just know how to manage money better and be able to be prepared for, you know, emergency situations when they, they come up in life. We selected Operation Hope because it's really one of the greatest financial empowerment education agencies in the world with their hope centers in many parts of the country. It's free financial counseling. So that's why we got our counseling from there. And we selected the Self app because Self is reaching people like us who just find ourselves in difficult situations. We don't have access to resources. We don't have access to save money. And it helps people create healthy behaviors. You're going to save money and you're going to feel better about yourself because honestly research shows that when people start to save money they build confidence and when they take steps they build confidence and that's what this is really all about. So it's about getting good behaviors. So let's begin. First question, if you had all of the money that you could ever imagine, money was no longer an object, what would you do with your life and what would you do with your time? If money wasn't an option, I would use my time to help other people who is going through stuff. Because sometimes, you know, you see people, you don't know what they're going through. Help them to get themselves back together, put their foot on the ground again, and let them move on. And that's a great example because you, philanthropy yeah. is obviously important to you, giving back. Next question for you. Yeah. If you just had five to 10 years left to live, how would you change your life? What are you doing now that wouldn't maybe, might not be so important? If you had five to 10 years left to live, what changes would you make in your life? If I had five to 10 years, I would just, you know, start taking care of the things that matter. You know, I'd spend more time with my family. Um, you know, my wife, my son, definitely take them on a trip. Let's go traveling, you know, see the world and just have that, you know, those moments that, you know, I might have missed because of, you know, long nights or whatever it may be. Last question. If you find out this is your last day, what are your regrets? What do you wish you had done in this precious life that's about to end? For me, um, I will go back to say, say thank you to some people, say sorry to some people, and um, regret not having a good saving so our son doesn't have to worry when I'm gone. I'm hearing that getting out of debt, I'm hearing building savings and giving back is very important to you. And I'm also hearing that you want to be able to create a lot more financial security for your son. Correct. And family. 
for you and for your family. Yes. But now you have clarified what's important to you, so now we're ready to move on to the plan. You have to be smart to reach your financial goals. You need specific goals. You need measurable goals. You need attainable goals. They need to be relatable. Tell a friend who'll help you stay on track. And timely, does the timing of your goal make sense with your financial situation? You can use the SELF app. That's whether you have credit, bad credit, no credit at all. And to find a free financial wellness coach near you, go to operationhope.org forward slash maps. Next time, Tina and Marcus had to take a hard look at their financial situation, where their money was coming from and going to. Thanks for watching Credit Chronicles. You'll find a new episode every week here on the Breakfast Club YouTube channel. And to learn how you can enter a contest to win $5,000 towards your financial goals, go to power1051fm.com forward slash self.